Hey guys, back with another video. So, like I said, I'm gonna be doing some cooking on this channel. But first, I wanna give all praises to God and thank him for waking me up this morning and starting me on my way. Also, for keeping that urge up underneath me, letting me know that I need to keep on pushing forward. Also guys, I wanna definitely let you know that without your positive comments and thoughts, I wouldn't be able to do this. So that's what keeps me encouraged. I'm gonna keep on pushing forward. I'm gonna get more consistent on my content and I just want you guys to bear with me. So if you can give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and share with your friends because I got a lot of contents coming your way and it's all Domo's original. All right guys, like I said, we're gonna be cooking on this channel. But first, I'm gonna start out by cleaning. We actually used this grill, made some chopped cheeses and we need to clean it. So, sorry about that, we got a plane. All right guys, so like I said, we're gonna be doing some cooking, but first we're gonna do some cleaning. So I've been using the grill. So, we're gonna take this hood top off and we're gonna definitely get ready to turn this, uh, turn the gas on so we can get it up and heat it. So, like I said, I need to clean the grill off. <laughs> you can actually get a good, a close uh, look up at it. Cause I've definitely been burning and doing some things up on there, as you see. And so we're going to get ready to turn on this gas. And get these fires throwing up so we can clean this grill. Give me just a moment, guys, because I got to remove this top and get this propane on. All right, so we're going to hook on this gas onto here, like so. And I'm just going to see which way to open. Let's close. This is open. Move my face. Turn that open a little bit. Gonna come around here to the ignition. And I'm going to hold up. Hopefully. Let me see something. Okay, I think I might hear something. Wait one second, guys. I smell something, so this ain't the best something. I think it's a little wet. Hold up, hold up, guys. Let me turn this. Let me. Hold up. Hold up one second. Let me get some paper. So I can light it up. All right, so now we're going to turn this back up. See, was that my issue or not? There it was. Turn this one on. Turn this one on. And that one. And because it is windy out here, guys, I'm going to have to stop and put that grill top on it real quick. I'll right. be right back. So I am making sure these burners are up high. Because like I said, I want to clean this off. So I'm going to give this a couple minutes to heat up. I don't know if you should be able to hear that. Come a little closer, you really can. So guys, I'm about to take out these scouring pads. And I want to heat up that grease that's on there. Make it easier for cleaning. I'm sure you guys know that already. Put on my little heavy duty gloves. Yeah, so I hope everybody's doing good today. I know I'm trying to. Hope everybody's staying mentally healthy. I know I'm trying to get there. It is a journey but a bunch of, a lot of redirection. So I'm redirecting again. So like I said, I got these scouring pads, got me some good old soap and water. I'm using game. We gonna get it going. Make sure that grill is nice and hot. So I'm just gonna cut these off now. So I got that heat that I wanted. Alright okay, guys, like I said, got it nice and heated. Makes it so much easier to clean. Just getting that soap and water up on here. Got 
got the scouring pads going, helping me clean it out. I realize I ain't got my drip thing in the back here that I need to make sure I put on before I actually start cooking. Well, yeah, guys, not gonna bore you with this. Just gonna clean this down and we get back right with you. All right. All right, guys, so I'm just gonna rinse some more of this soapy water on here. Let's see. Let's throw that off. that going get that out of here and I come in with some actual regular water so, and here's some just regular clean water well you know the other one's clean water with no soap and get these soap buds out of here. All right, guys, so I'm gonna clean this off and I'll be right back so we can heat this bag, boy, right, up. Bag. We got the grill together. So we about to go ahead and start seasoning it. And we're gonna drop some of this bacon up on here because that gives it great flavor. And I just wanna let you guys know, I know a lot of people don't eat pork, which is fine, but you need to know that in the restaurants, First thing they come in, they season up the grill. They throw a whole bunch of bacon up on here. Why? Because it gives you flavor. Not to mention, it's a great breakfast item. So, with that being said, I'm not just gonna season this grill for nothing. I'm actually gonna eat this bacon, guys. And uh, speaking of eating the bacon, what really prompt that for tonight is that my kids uh, talked me into when they seen this and said, Mom, why you don't get this? That'd be cool. So I said, you know what? Why not? So I said, we're gonna go ahead and bust that open. And what better other way to do that than have some good old bacon to go with it. So guys, we're gonna make us some bacon. We're gonna make us some eggs. Um, I don't know, I think somebody said they want a breakfast sandwich. We can make that work out. But I did also have a, a request for um, pancakes. So I said, why not? Nice and easy breezy. First time showing you guys what this grill is about. So why not do something that we all love? And so I'm not gonna put any on this side just because this side I use, uh, I'm gonna use for my eggs. And I just don't necessarily want bacon grease on there, even though I do like bacon grease with my eggs, if I'm totally honest. Um, but it's not necessary. So, as you see, just gonna cook this up, get these going. This side I got, like I said, down lower, so I could do some other things over there. And so while I do that, I'm gonna come over here and look at this uh, kit. See what I got going on up in here real quick. You know, Blackstone's my friend now, guys. So, I said I'm going to sort of support them. Things I don't probably even need. But just because. So, I did. I think they got this stuff up in here. So I'm gonna have to use something to cut this out real quick, guys, and I get all this out, and I'll let you see what's going on with that. All right, guys, so we got that bacon rolling. Had to cut out some utensils. So you see we got the pancake mix holder. I'm trying to get this mixed together real quick. Got some egg rings. And we wanna see what all that's talking about. I think the only thing I need to make sure I get is some margarine. And we'll worry about that in 39 more seconds. We're gonna get this mixed together. And make sure my bacon ain't burning. And give me a second, we're gonna line all these up together. And then we'll be right back with you. So I'm about to get off these last couple of pieces of bacon. As you see guys, let them do their things. I'm gonna slide them over a little bit on this side because they want to cook a little bit fast. 
We want that to slow down just a tad. While we got this good old bacon that's already ready. So we're gonna set that to the side. And we're gonna get ready to get ready for some pancakes. But before we do the pancakes, I'm in the mood for a hash brown. So I'm gonna get some of that going. So I'm gonna put a little butter here. That's some little unsalted, some unsalted butter. Rub that in just a little bit. And then about to take those two pieces of bacon out. Put that hash brown down. Gonna get another one up there in just one more minute. Just make three. My daughter be playing, she don't like stuff until it's actually made. And she be all in my plate. So we're not gonna have none of that. We're gonna have enough. We throw these up over of here. So, we got those going. <clears throat> I want to grab my presser. Press that down, guys. So we're gonna let that, those hash browns go up on that pressure. Get some of this grease up off of here. Get some hash browns going. Yeah, you might wanna do that just a little bit. Dropping that off into my range, the back of the grill. As you see that grill is hot, we turn that down one more time. Get it on real low. So I'll get some of this grease out of here. Like I told you, these hash browns is over here underneath the pressure. Getting those going. A little bit more oil out of here. And then we're going to make some room for the stars of the show. So I'm going to slide this up just a little bit. I can actually turn it that way. Let those cook. Then I'm going to take out some margarine. So I can get that on the grill for my pancakes. I'm gonna put a generous amount. I'm gonna turn that down. Get that butter back over here. Turn that piece down low. And um, did you still want some sauce with you? No? Okay, so you're gonna extra sauce it. I'm gonna move all right along. And so, you're gonna get this pancake filling. So, open up the top of that. Please not so. Okay. Uh, stir up my mix over here. Got it over here in the mixing bowl. I'm just gonna pour that up in here. Like so. Little rush job to get on them pancakes. Let's we'll see how this one works. Now I'm left-handed, starting to feel better in the right, but we just gonna put it in the left. And gonna give us a good squeeze. I like, I like. I like, I like. How about you guys? I like. And gonna get us at least four of these bad boys right here. Set this over here by our rags or a drippage. Made that one a little bit. What's the name? I'm about to maybe turn off one of these grills. <clears throat> because it's on a little bit too merch. Right? So we got this down low. And like I said, I had a request for a breakfast sandwich. And I don't know, guys, if you know me, but I'm a quest request girl. So I'm going to put a little bit of that good old butter right here. And I'm going to get me out some Texas toast. You know, repping the, don't want to show you the brand, you know how they do. 
know, they don't want you all in there. I don't know who says what about what, but that's seen what it was. And I know that's what we use. So we got some of the Texas coat. So I am going to drop us one right here, another one right there. I'm going to check on my hash brown. Let that cook a little bit longer. And we got our Texas toast on. I don't know why I didn't get my freezer guys for my butter. That's what I usually use. But uh, I didn't. So, y'all see what I'm dealing with. And let me just throw a little bit more around my pancakes. You know, I like them nice and buttery. I don't know about you. It looked like a lot. It might even be. So that's how I like mine. So let me be. All right. So don't really want to mess with them too much. So they give a nice little circles as you see they starting to get. And then, you know, they be worthy for a flip. I just like to make sure we get a good pre-release for when it's time. So I always kind of so I'm a little edgy just to make sure we good on that. And so, let's put this right here. Don't have to do all that. Put that one right here. I'm trying to set it outside from the fire. We're going to put it on the edge here. Hopefully, we won't drop nothing. We check on a little toast here. So, we got our Texas toast going. And I'm actually going to shut this whole side down, guys. Waste of my gas, and um, I don't really need nothing else on that side. <clears throat> I'm gonna just stay over here with my eggs and everything else to end off with. So I don't know, is that enough corn for these kids or not? No, I feel that a little bit more mix going on. I think I'm doing the breakfast sandwich. So I'm gonna get some of this butter off in here. And check on this bread over here. A little windy. Oh, I like that brown. So for me, guys, I'm just going to move this over to the side. Because don't have enough in there. I want to tell when I'm struggling, so you know, it'd be that for it. Whatever. Put some of these butter up on there so that I can continue going with that going. Check on these. Check on my things up here. See how they coming along. and get them a little flip. See those looking like some goldy brown. So continue to cook up here. All right. <coughs> I am gonna set that there. Really like the back here. Okay, this one's not ready. Let's try you over here. And let's check on these bad boys up here. Right. Left that on over too long. Came laying around little brown for my grill so I'm gonna discard this one guys and uh, yeah I'm very funny about anything and everything <clears throat> and very authentic about what's going on so we're gonna replace that bad boy and we're gonna grab it right here get the little old fashioned Got the place tent going. Make sure we get a little bit more butter. Got a little sticker so you know we just wash it so everything's fixed, guys. That's why it's so important for you to season your grill. So you don't have those issues. Like I say, you're doing this in real time. 
And we growing and we learning on this channel. Ain't nobody perfect. And y'all see how we flip that and do that. I'm gonna just a little browning. Put my grease over here. Make sure my candy cake stay greased up. And I'm gonna get a plate for them in just a second. Just over here. Out here. I should have left that other side on. Just checking my penny cakes. That one looks good to come up. Put this one on the plate. Put this one up. Move that over. And I'm taking my little Texas sofa on. But that's okay. Can't rush a good thing. We we'll up here with all this heat. All right. This one up up here. Let me turn you to the right, maybe they got you looking sideways. That one a couple more seconds. All right, so while we getting that together, we're about to swing on down to these eggs. So, I ain't never used no, oh, uh, there you go. I'm gonna keep it a band. I don't use those, I haven't used that. I make my molds out of different things, which is actually the bread. But that was cute. So, I'm gonna get these eggs popping. And since, and since it's a little mold, I said, why not make it a little omelet? So that's what I'm gonna go for. So, give me one second, I wanna slice this up and I'll be right back for you. Uh, some more pancake mix in my hand, guys. Put this bread up off of here. Slide this one over. Slide these two guys over. No, you don't have one. All right, get a little bit more pancake mix up in here real quick. You know, when you're cooking, you be on the fly. Just is what it is. There we go. I'm gonna get one more in just a second, guys. Set that to the side. Wanna check on this front up here. Make sure this one is about ready to come. Definitely don't want no burning, burning pancakes. Get one more right there. Right. <clears throat> drop up another one. Mm, might drop one more for good luck sake. All right, guys. That's it on the pancake for me. So we got that rolling around. What I'm looking for. Hold on. Move this butter just a little bit. And like I said, let's get started with these eggs. Put a little bit of pepper up in here. Get us a little scramble. You know what I mean? Scramble that up in there. I'm gonna drop that up in the mold. And we're gonna do that one more time. A 
pepper. Give it a little swell. Get that rolling. Check this last pancake real quick, guys. Let's check this out. Drop that up in there. All right, so put this to the side. Grab me and then take the towel. Let's see what we want to. Okay, you came out the mold a little bit. I see you. I see you. That's fine. Deal with. Let me come over here. Grab me a piece of bacon. And crumble some of that up in there. Why not? You yeah, know, wasn't really thinking about doing an omelet. I would have got me some spinach up in here. But you know, we'll say that for another day. Another day, another time. Get a little bit of milk. And then uh, we're going to get a little bit of cheese. Love you, cheese. Get some of that up in there. You know what I'm saying? That's how we doing it today. And so what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna take these little two remote eggs and I'm gonna throw that up on there. But matter of fact, I'm gonna make me an egg medium too. Cause um, I'm feeling those. Let's get this last pancake out of here. Well, not last, but this one right here, that's good to go. Let's slide this one over here. And we're gonna get ready to work on our breakfast sandwich. A little bit more butter on there. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. All right, so while we're getting that butter going, I'm going to have to shift a few things around. Let's see, can I get a little bit of space? What I don't need, what can I get rid of? So, we're going to keep. Yeah. Give me just a moment. I need to adjust some space so I can get to. All right, guys. Check on my friends up here. See how they doing. Not quite going. This side is not this hot, but I'm gonna pull it down to the bottom in just a second. I try to keep the back up there rolling. Let me bring you over here. All right, I'm let these other two guys keep cooking. All right, so we popping and we locking right there in that middle, as you see. So I just flipped that one so we don't want to touch that, but I was about to work on my sandwich, like I say. So. Let me this little bad boy up this side. You can see all our central heat is right here. So we're gonna gravitate to that real quick. And I'm gonna go in a little bit of that. I don't know what that's supposed to be about, guys, but now uh, it's taking a little bit long. All right, give me just a moment, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, so I'm going to make sure we get all this going. Spatula. Check on the front up here. Front right there. Front right there. Get some butter on you. I don't know why I didn't have my squeeze butter today, guys. Because it probably is more using this way. Not probably it is. Because the squeeze definitely goes further away than pulling out chunks of butter. But it is what it is. All right, guys. So we'll continue to look at what's going on up here. This can take off. Move this one up. Move this over. Move my egg over. Take that ring off. 
this egg over. Sparingle. Okay, guys. So we're about to get this sandwich on rock. So we already got one side toasted, which is the side I like on my inside. We got cheese going already. So we just gonna let that cook just a little bit. And then I'm gonna put on my egg. But in the meantime, well that's finishing up the trash little pieces. I'm gonna get ready for my garnish. I forgot my sugar. I got it. Keep it nice and But we'll get to that. Alright, this pancake right here about to come up over here. That over there, show these stack of pancakes. So we got all those over there. And we got this last one that we need to get off in just a moment. So we're gonna get ready to build this sandwich in two seconds. Check on my last friends up here, bring them. Ooh! Somebody watching them hard, baby. Watching them hard, baby. Mama caught you. I love you. Ain't gonna let nothing happen to you. Mm -mm. So we're going to throw that up on there. Bam. Right? Then, before we go in with that, this piece of the bread, y'all, we're going to pick this up right there. Get the tid. Get out of cook the on this side. Pick me up all you did. Make sure we good up in there like this. That's just for this one. I want this way. Alright guys. And we're going to throw that up on here. <laughs> like so. And the pancake can go. Then we're going to top it on here, like so. We're going to flip it over there, like so. And in this one, we're just going to have on the plate, on the side, on this time. Get that going. Get another plate in a second. These over here. And we're going to clean some of this out of here. For the back, got that in the handy dandy. Okay. That do its thing. Alright, guys. So, two things we're gonna do. We got this and this and this. I want to drop me my last egg because I want uh egg over medium. So give me just one minute to grill this thing and get me a better plate so we can show you guys what we working so, with. Getting that medium for you. For me, rather. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Got that in there. Get me some pepper. Mama like that pepper. All right. Got this sandwich, which is nice and goldy ready. Ooh, look at that, baby. So, what I need to decide two things. And I'll be right back. Slide that over there for just one second. And we're going to get this bad boy to whoo, flip right on over like that. Mm, mm, mm. All right, and while I do that, let me get ready for my shopping because we are ready. We are ready, guys. We are just about ready right now. So I'm going to show you my little. Yes, I just changed my gloves. As you see, no grease. All right. So. Got that. 
And we're gonna get this off of here now. And now we're about to plate it up for you. So, we got three of these pancakes. I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna get me one of these hash browns. And then we're gonna come over here and get us some of this bacon. You can stay right where you at, man. So we're gonna get us some of this good bacon. Okay. Then, guys, put this plate down so you can see it. That. And we're going to cut our good old sandwich. And as you see, I got the uh, I got the uh, egg underneath the um, that like that. And clean this up a little bit. <clears throat> and we're gonna pull out our second plate. Got a nice little egg up on there. Ooh, get us a nice little ash brown on there. Hmm, do we want pancake? Do we want pancake? Yeah, we want pancake. We don't want a pancake. <laughs> yeah, guys, it's about time to eat. So my stomach saying, yay, yeah, yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. Get it, get it, get it. So, guys, don't think that I'm being light on my plate because... I do have, um, what do you call that? I do have that half a sandwich. I'm gonna show you all three plates in just one moment. Just give me one more second. I'm gonna plate this last one and I'm gonna show you guys. So, we're gonna plate this last one here. We give it that egg. We're gonna give it that hash brown and that little omelet. I'm going to show you all three in 39 more seconds. Just let me get a few toppings up on here. Move my cutting board out of the way. And then I can get what you got. Just a second here with Mama. So we about to chop these things and get it just a little few things. <clears throat> got us some whipped cream. I'm gonna put some of that on there. And then we buy the plate. Can we hold it? We got some more cream on this one. All right. Give it just one second, guys. We're gonna make this all work out. up in here. I'm gonna get this one some whipped cream. And, and add a few more things on top. Then we're we'll gonna be ready to chow down guys. So we're gonna get us a blueberry. Blueberry. I like a few blueberries. That one's my daughter's. So, my son and Mama Bear. All right. So, I'm gonna chop those off with a little strawberry. From the heat, guys. Should get this up here quick. And my last berry. Strawberry, strawberry. All right, I'm gonna top that off one more time. With a little bit of that sugar. All right, guys. 
lastly, we got that sandwich. And that's just a sandwich. But we still gonna make it feel a little bit not lonely. So let me get out of garnish real quick, guys. Couple of beers. Nope, don't want none. Get this one here. One second, guys. All right. And we're gonna set that here like that, guys. See, can we fit you in there? And we sure enough can. All right, guys. So take a look. This is what we came up with. Hope you guys like and enjoy. Got me some warm syrup we about to throw up on there. But uh, it's about to go down. So I just wanted to share with you guys how this grill is working, how it's popping. You can get all, a whole bunch of things going on. And look forward because I got so many things to share with you guys. But just know that everything's been real. Thanks, guys.